Good morning. So um, it's been a while since I've recorded a uh, always developing video. Uh, I've had some time off um, and I've also been trying to decide what I'm going to do next. Um, I've kind of hit a roadblock with the goal monitor um, uh, project, uh, more of a mental roadblock. Um, it's not a project that I want to actually continue developing. Um, it's always been a project that I just used to sort of learn a new language concept. Um, and it's starting to get, it was starting to get big enough that it was going to take a lot more work to kind of complete it. Um, and I don't want to complete it. Um, it's not, that's not what it's for. Um, but I do want to continue learning Go. Um, and probably svelte along with it, even though I'm using that day in, day out now um, at work. So it's not not so much of a priority to learn it outside of work. You know, plenty of experience there. Um, but go, um, I want to learn. Um, uh, and I've not been doing that at all um, with recent videos and so on. Um, so I want to switch back to a project um, that uses go. Um, and I don't have a burning desire to um, work on any other project other than Snippet Pixie at the moment, um, which is currently hosted at uh, GitHub, Byte Pixie, Snippet Pixie. And as you can see, that was um, that's mostly written in Vala. Uh, which is not a language I want to continue using forever. Um, it's it was great for what it was. Um, it was a good way to get into Linux um, at desktop development. Um, it's a nice language. It has a lot of similarities to um, modern language like Go and Rust. Um, so it was nice to work with. But I want to learn Go. Um, I, I mean, when I look at it, I enjoy it. Um, it's simple, um, but powerful. Um, so um, I've decided that I'm going to rewrite Snippet Pixie in Go. Um, there's a whole number of reasons for that. One is that the code base for Snippet Pixie and Vala is terrible. Uh, it's not structured correctly at all. Um, it's going to take a lot of work to improve it in the ways that I want to improve it. Um, and I would probably end up rewriting most of that Vala code, which again, I don't want to do. I don't want to rewrite it in Vala if I can help it. As nice as it is, I would prefer to be writing in Go. Um, it's more fun. Um, so I am going to start from scratch um, with a new Snippet Pixie project. Um, and on top of that, I'm not going to be using GPL as a license either. Um, I'm going to use a more, <clears throat> excuse me, and a more a uh, free license, um, I'm going to try and use, try, I am going to use MIT license, um, which has far less restrictions than GPL. Um, so to that end, I've last night created a Snippet Pixie organization in GitHub. Um, and this is where I'm going to start from scratch with a new version of Snippet Pixie. Um, and this is where the fun starts, because now I've got to decide um, how to structure it, um, which isn't so easy when you don't actually know the language very well that you're going to start it with, um, especially when, it, you know, the whole goal of this is to learn Go and the secondary goal is to improve Snippet Pixie. There's a few things I want to do with Snippet Pixie. Um, I want to improve its separation between this, the command line interface 
um, and the GUI app. Um, and I want to make sure that we have a daemon process that either of those, the GUI or the CLI, can communicate with. Um, so now I've got to decide what I'm going to do there with my repository set up and projects. Do I create one project which includes the code for the CLI, the GUI, and the daemon, and any kind of joint libraries that they'll need? Or do I create what, four projects? One for the libraries that are going to be used by the daemon, the GUI, and the CLI. Um, I think I think my my heart is saying a joint repository, um, but with good separation inside it, um, just for the easiness of initial startup. Um, because I'll have the ability to manage the first project. Maybe I'll have um, the CLI um, and libraries kind of coming up, potentially with the daemon at the same time, and then maybe move on to the GUI. Um, later on. I think that's what I want to do. But yeah, let's do that. I guess I can always split it out later. Um, one thing is, um, because this is all learning, a learning exercise at first, um, I'm going to create this project, this new repository, as a private repo um, until I've got it to a point where it's ready to to be released or at least tested. Um, and then I'll open it up um, for access. Um, because really, I don't want other people um, contributing code at this point. It's for me to learn um, and develop. Um, then in the future, once it's kind of more established and I'm actually looking for help with it, um, I can open it up. But so let's go. Let's do create a new repository. And this is where it gets a little bit weird because we're going to have snippet pixie snippet pixie as a repository. Um, not great. Uh, oh yeah. So I'm just going to grab that description, which I always use. And I guess one other thing is I'll probably have a new website I can develop that in this as well. It can either be in here or it could be in this new project um, organization. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yet to think about that. Okay, so I'm going to want to read me. Um, ignore I'll get later as and as and when I need it. And I want to choose a license as well. And that's going to be MIT. I think that's all we need. Let's create this repository. There we go. That's handy. Let's check the license. Okay. Don't know about that copyright. There is, mm, I'll leave it for the moment because I guess the project owns the copyright. I could I could open? Don't think that's going to work so well, but maybe change it later. Might have to switch it to myself. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, now I need to actually use it. Um, let's grab the URL. OK. 
Okay. Uh, switch here. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, I've already got a local version of this. So let's. Um, oh. Before I do that, I want to make sure this is up to date. Uh, there's out of step there. Let's check. It's all right. Hmm. I to pull in. I just I want to just quickly tie this away before we get going. Um. Why is that modified? Hmm. Need those changes. It's just an uh, export save. Right, so now get rid of that. If we've got a clean, we should be able to. Oh, I don't know why I do that. I always do that. Right, so this is not going to do anything. And we're still going to be back there. Huh. Why, when did I not do that? Let me just quickly check. I know. I right, just before I start my new project, I need to make sure that the old one is fully up to date and tucked away. Though I'm not going to adjust it, I'm not going to like archive it or anything at the moment because I may need to make changes to it while I'm developing the new version. Um, okay, let me just check to see whether I can merge. There's nothing to merge. That's interesting. Yet yeah, the log says there is. Hmm. Okay. Nothing to push. It's fine. Tags are okay. There's nothing to push here. It's not going to pick up anything. Yet the logs are different. No, no, it is up to date. Just get log wasn't showing out as it was. Head's okay. That's fine. It is good. Okay. I must have misread the log. Oh. Okay. Right. So. Uh, I'm going to...
I'm going to switch that out now. So I'm just going to rename that because I want to use the same here. So I remember what's what. Okay. Done. Uh, should I just make sure in here? Oh, so let's save properly. Save my Tmux. So I'm back in the same place. Okay, now we have a main branch instead of master. Right. Okay, I'm going to try and have a look at that. So am I on go? Oh yeah, so I'm on go 116 at the moment on here. Okay, that might change later. But 16 is fine for the moment. Okay, right, well. Um, what are we going to do? So I need to create some sort of structure. And what are we going to do first? I think we what we need to do is create a basic data structure for the snippets. Um, so we're going to need um, a little library or package and go speak, um, which handles the very basics of snippets um, that we're going to then use in the command line uh, to get them, create them, um, export them, and so on. And then again, with the GUI probably mediated through a daemon. So the daemon's going to probably have most of the nitty gritty stuff with the CLI and the GUI being relatively thin wrappers that communicate with the daemon. Okay, let's create a let's create a board or two. And so what we're gonna do here Is it going to be one? No, it's not one big project, isn't it? It's going to be four. So each one's going to have its own. It's each one's going to be its own module. Yeah. Okay. So let's create a package. Yep. 
Yeah. And then later on, we'll probably have an internal. But that would be for things like inside the CLI. I'll have an internal package as such. This is going to be public stuff that could be reusable. Yeah. Okay, I'll just do that here. Yeah, and now I've got to try and think of a structure for this. This initial stuff. Okay, I reckon I'm going to need a snippet package. And in that we'll have the data structure for a snippet. We'll have potentially a manager for snippets. Which does the mediation to the oh that's well that's not right, is it? If I wanted to grab a bunch of snippets, should that be in a library package or in the daemon? Or is that one and the same thing? Damon's going to bring up. Well, hold on, that's a good point, actually. If we're storing these things, the Damon will say, hey, go store them in this reference. And the package will say, thanks. the reference and do the story. Okay, yeah, that's right. We'll do that. Okay. So now I'm going to create a module here. Um, and it is github.com snippet pixie snippet yeah, it's going to have to be that way. Package snippet. That's very long-winded, isn't it? It is what it is. Okay, let's just check that. It's sorted. Okay, the files, yes. Thank you. All good there. Okay, All right. Let's create um, snippet structures and stuff then. Um, and I'm going to do the bare minimum and do a test for it as well. So let's create a new file. 
and we'll call this snippet. Yes. Um, and we will create a type snippet, which is a struct, and that's going to require an abbreviation. I really wish I hadn't caused it in that last pro. Let's try in. And then it has a body, which is also a string. And then I could uh, let's connect to the database. This is going to be useful over time, so. Let's do this. Let's give it a light. I'm just going to grab it. So Local share this is going to change I'm not going to be using this big long identifier anymore but let's grab that options no I don't need it read only at the moment yes Test connection. Look good. Okay. Why, why do they do that? Okay. Okay, so snippets. This is what a snippet looks like. Abbreviation body. And last used as a timestamp. And of course an ID, which is an integer. Hmm. Better stick that in there, I suppose. Okay, and last used. Which I believe that's a, if that's a, in 64 isn't it what is an intingo is it the same as the 64 is it Matt? maybe i should do that right so that's okay Hmm. I should double check what SQLite has for that. Uh, 
that same time function's been there before. Should probably look at types though. It's not what I want. Yes, but what is that? So it's an integer. Hmm, okay. I think I'll stick with 64 for the time being. But we'll see how that goes in the future. All right, so we have snippet. That's all it needs. Um, and what we need is I guess a manager for them as well. I'm going to stick that in here. Account for the time being. Although I may be getting ahead of myself here. Keep that empty. Um, yeah, no, that's a good idea because what we'll do um, is a manager is going to be it's more like an interface really. No, it's not. It's going to be, it's going to hold the database connection context, potentially. Yeah. 
we'll keep that. So let's do a quick, I don't think I've got much time. No. Okay. So I'll do a quick, quick thing that compiles, um, a quick test or something. So we'll do, I'll take a manager and we will do snippet and it's going to take an abbreviation which is a string and it's going to return a snippet record oops and potentially an error. Yeah. So let's do that and we'll do um let's assign that a snippet. And we'll have that an abbreviation of SU SP. The body's going to be snippet pixie. Um, and last used you can stay that and then we're going to return the snippet and new that looks okay get snippet for a given abbreviation. All right. Now let's create a test. So we're going to import um, or testing, and I'm going to use uh, Matt Myers. Um, is it so? GitHub.com Matt writes. Oh, I know about that. Cool. Test manager get snippet. Huh, interesting. Uh, test get snippet. Um, which is T of testing. No, oh, yeah, dot T. Remember correctly. This is a long, long distance. 
It's a long time since I did this stuff on the gold monitor. I hope it seems to be all to complete in that case, so we'll see how that goes. Um, right, uh, so what do we do here? Uh, I've got to create an is. Um, is. Is it new? Oh, it's not auto. I should probably um, do the thing here. Yeah, do that. Sorted. Right now, it should do its auto completion stuff. Yeah, so it's already so it's now it's found that. You know, that's fine. Now I need to use it. So we'll do. Snippet from um, oh no, gonna create a manager first. So manager is that right? It's gonna be yeah the address of manager nothing in it at the moment because we haven't got anything to work on and then the snippet is going to be manager dot get snippet with some sort of an abbreviation uh, right in theory it should be SP an error and then we should test is no error error is equal snippet dot abbreviation to P is equal snippet body to snippet fixing. That's it, isn't it? So in theory, we've got a test here that brings up a new manager, albeit not not with any smarts. Um, we then create a snippet. We well, sorry, we get a snippet. Hopefully without an error, and hopefully because we passed an SP as abbreviation, it should have the same abbreviation, um, and the body should be what we expect of snippet pixie. And that little noise is a reminder that I've got to stand up in 10 minutes. So I just need to quickly finish this off. So I think that's good. Let's give it a go. Um, I'll do that down here. Go. Oh no, it's not going to work in there because there is nothing there. Okay, snip it. Go test. Got. <laughs> Go. Oh, uh, yep. Good stuff. Do that again. Okay, that's better. So that worked. So that package, if I do a verbose mode, ran the test get snippet function and it passed. Let's do a quick test to make sure it fails. Uh, get snippies. 
Uh, again, bio. Get a snippy. A snippy pixie. So, uh, cool. Which file was that then? Hmm. I guess you're supposed to add them. All right, so quick test again. Pass. Great. Great success. Okay. Let's do a commit. Um, this will create. Snippet package. Uh, do we want to do that on main? Yeah. Yes, we do. No one else is going to be doing anything anyway. Oh. One hands. Where's the thingy for that? Go format. That's fine. Oh, why is there a warning then? Where's this to do? Interesting. What's the warning? Oh, that's fine. Commit anyway and push. Yes, thank you. I uh, always want to do tags. Push. Done. So in theory, we now have some code. Yay. Good stuff. Okay. Well, that's a good start. Um, it'd be interesting to see how I'll get on with this. Um, I'm hoping that Go is going to be a good, a good language to rebuild Snippet Pixie into its um, four components of a library, a daemon that does most of the heavy lifting. And then a CLI and a GUI um, to give us a little bit more flexibility and uh, and to help me learn Go as I come along. Um, I know there's going to be some challenges because I'm pretty sure the, um, the accessibility um, stuff is going to be really difficult because it's Go is not a desktop. Um, it doesn't have that great sort of integration with accessibility and so on uh, the AT kit and stuff um, but we'll see I will keep plugging away I will see how far I get um, it's all good for learning Go. Uh, until next time um, take care